start with today. So what questions? What are you doing here? You do, are you not excited to see me? <laughs> hey, who picked the movie yesterday, Coach? Let's start with that. I believe that was Coach Wintrick, but I'm not positive. It might have been uh, Coach or Pat Hickman as well. So, Were you disappointed or did you like it? Well, so actually my wife and I had a date during that part. <laughs> and the team doesn't know that, so I just blew that entire cup. <laughs> yeah, I was at the river, though. So you just showed up later. I showed up later. That's exactly what I did. At what point does the smoke and the haze out there cause you to think about maybe going indoors? Was it a factor? I think the only thing that was a factor was a little cooler out there. I think the players, I don't think it affected their breathing, but it, it wasn't nearly as hot. Um, I'll just rely on our trainers to tell me when that's the case. Yeah, it's, it's pretty unique. Um, but right now I haven't been told it's a hazard yet in terms of breathing. What went into the decision to have Mitch practice um, it's just as part of his normal progression. This is maybe day three or four with partial practice. And so, um, you know, the trainers are working through that and there's a certain percentage each day and if he gets it and I just look out there and see him or I don't see him, but I, don't, I haven't played a role in that yet. No concern? Mm -hmm. no. What do you hope to get out of the scrimmage Saturday? Hmm. You know, um, as opposed to last week. I think um, I think what I'll look for more than anything is is where the schemes and the execution is. Maybe not so much personnel identification, which was probably um, one of the initial things I looked at in the first scrimmage of are we practicing the right people, but now it will be where the schemes are and how are, how consistent we're becoming. How's the defense responded after a positive scrimmage on, on Saturday? Have you seen that play? Um, I, I think it's like most people. they. It feels good to, to be praised, and then usually once you do that, they don't quite try as hard for a day or two, and so we were we kind of reset expectations today. And so part of it's just maturing. They need to mature, and we'll see if they can do it again. Um, and so, yeah, they're, they're learning. What's been the latest on Kyle Johnson? He has been participating in 11 on 11s. Is yeah, there any concern know. there? Mm -mm. I mean, no concern from my standpoint or that they'll be ready for our first game, but I don't know what the injury is or why he's being held out. Do you plan on holding people out on Saturday? Or last similar, Saturday? Yeah, similar to the first Saturday. There's a few players based on depth or their ability to impact our team that I think the risk-reward isn't worth it. And so they'll be probably the same guys that didn't play uh, the first scrimmage. Back on Tuesday, you said when you reviewed the film for the first scrimmage, you felt there was a lack of explosive offensive plays. Who do you feel are those explosive playmakers well, on this offense? It, it, it's happening every day in practice. Um, so Taysom obviously is, and we're, I mean, if anyone's within five yards, I'm blowing the whistle on him. So that would have changed the scrimmage. Mitch Matthews, certainly. Nick Kurtz, Devon Blackman. Um, our, running, our running game is actually coming along during the, uh, during the practices. Uh, Adam Hines had a couple nice days, and Francis Bernard. So mostly from the receivers, quarterback, running back, the skill players. And that's, I mean, that's happening in practice. It just didn't happen on that Saturday. Is a backup center emerging for you guys? Mm, work in progress. Parker Da, Jacob Jimenez, those two are the leading candidates, possibly with cross-training Kyle Johnson. How big is it to have a big back? Like, you know, oh, he's kind of taking that role with Paul Gunn now, just to have a big back in, in this offense. And, you know, um, what, I, what I would say is that Algie has taken the role more of what Paul has done. Okay. Um, so, and it's, it's, it's imperative because they're durable, they're tough, and both could catch the ball in the backfield and run, and it gives us more depth because he can play either spot. And so if another ball carrier emerges, that'll take a load off him and possibly allow both those guys to play at the same time, where IE is more of a, just a big true blocking back. One of the charges you gave Coach Holiday when you brought him on is to recruit Texas better, maybe cast a wider net, bring in maybe more non-LDS kids. How would you assess how he's kind of done that? I think he's I think he's done a nice job. Um, I think the skill level at wide receiver is improving. I think the depth is improving, and certainly he's effective at Texas. So I don't know. Who would have known that that was your? Oh, I know. Is that your? Oh, it's Jay Drew's masters. I noticed when you did it though, you put it in front of somebody else. Did you see that? I couldn't. That couldn't have been better. I think that was nice. Flinch is that the winter flinch? Yeah, I think that's what we call it. Anything else? The way you're shuffling offensive linemen and cross training, is that a sign that you feel pretty good about the group as a whole and mm. their ability to ma position mastery? As I, I, I think it's going to, uh, um, I think we're going to need to cross train up to three players to have the depth that we need. Um, I was 
hoping to add maybe more players that I thought could contribute and be ready, where I think that number might be fewer, and they'll have to learn multiple positions is what I think. What are you seeing out of Tanner Mangum so far? like him a lot. How about uh, Fred Warner? What have you seen from him in fall camp? <laughs> 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 he's, he's improving, he's growing, um, and starting to emerge as a playmaker. Um, kind of catching up from where he was before he was hurt. Um, not all the way back, but emerging and more plays are being made daily by him, so making progress. So I think on schedule by early season. Special teams wise, we're, we're going to be putting out a bunch of guys, holder, snapper, uh, punter, possibly kickoff that have never played a game when you get to Nebraska. What what type of concern is that as a head coach when, with, with that much, yeah. that many people without you know actual game experience can be involved in the process? A lot. Um, so we're getting as much work in practice as we can, but it's not the same as the game. So we'll try to accelerate and practice as much as we can. But until, so obviously our kicker, Trevor, is great. Um, the punting game looks good in practice. The snapping game looks good. And the holding game looks good. We'll see when we start playing. All right.